Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Carson Kelly Games podcast. We are now on episode three. It is currently March 2023. This episode is the episode for March as of March 31st, 2023. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's been a very, very interesting month. Very busy. We've been quiet on all social fronts here at Carson Kelly Games. A lot is happening behind the scenes as we close out March and prepare for an exciting month of April, which will have many, many things to be shared and many new awesome things. To look back on the month of March, we will go through and see what we shared this month. Okay, so this month we um, released a new update for the website as we get closer in June for the big world launch of the global launch of the CKG website 3.0, which has been in the works since June of last year. Actually further than that, probably around March or February, a little over a year. But there was a lot of website issues last year, so the website was down for half the year. So this is the first full year since 2021 where the website will be live in full and stuff, stuff like that. Because in 2021, it was live throughout the whole year. 2021, around, I forget when, but it was a while ago, I started work on the 2.0 and 3.0 planning stages. Got to work. We released the 2.0 update in December 2nd, 2022, which was nice. Beautiful website now. New branding, new everything. It's always good to have. And yeah, we're a minute in and I said a lot of stuff. But yeah, let's go through it. On the website, I made some changes to the website color scheme just a little bit. Some of those will change, some not. Um, the careers page has been deactivated on the website. But it's still available for you to see if you are interested in learning about possible careers at Carson Kelly Games for the future. I have no updates to share on that front, but the page has been deactivated from the front page of the website. And all you have to do is just scroll to the bottom of the future page and hit the career section. And yeah, you can see all the current information there and stuff. You can sign up for updates, career updates, you just, and you hear from us and stuff like that about all the possible career updates, which is nice. On the news page this month, we shared a lot of new stuff. Um, all right, let's go here to the news page. Um, let's start from back here. Mm. On March 1st, the world premiere of the Bonfire Time with Phil, a new series of shorts was released. So that's also exciting. It's available in Spanish, French, uh, multiple languages for our Japanese audiences, Chinese audiences. That's exciting. Um, English, of course. It's very cool. The next episode of Bonfire Time with Phil is coming out soon. Um, it will probably be in April or May, followed by more episodes to follow, of course, because this is a new plan of this is a new plan to, for you guys to hang out and talk with Phil, which I'm excited for you all to talk about. Also, on the first, I launched a new website update for improvements on the user experience and user interface front, which is exciting stuff. Very, very cool. I tend to release monthly updates and week monthly uh, improvement updates followed by weekly small updates for like spelling errors and stuff. But you won't need to see blogs for those as they're small improvements. But big improvements like the big uh, huge 3.0 website update, that's going to have a big blog, like a very massive blog. And it's like, it's, it's a very massive blog. It's going to have a lot of details about everything. Updates on updates on all the projects, updates on visual enhancements, branding uh, updates. Nothing too crazy on the brand front because I love it. I like it, and I love the color scheme, and I love the brand scheme I have developed for my little game studio project. Even though it's just me, you know, it's very cool. But um, sorry for all the notifications coming in. There's a lot of them. Then on March 6th, I had probably the first major website outage, which was not fun. That was a very, very weird time. I think the website was down for six hours. It's not nothing too crazy, but that's still a lot of downtime. So I pulled back an additional update, and I relaunched it with a previous update. That caused a little oopsie. And yeah, some code broke in the website, and I was, and I was running around in circles that day. That was very, very nuts. Um, I just got a coupon in the mail, it says here. 
Now, that's cool. I'll use that another day. Sorry, guys. I got a coupon on my notification tab. It said, you got a coupon for so-and-so. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, so, yeah, March 6th, there was a website outage. That's not fun. That was probably my first one as CEO of Carson Kelly Games and, you know, the the front man of it all and stuff. So that was not fun. But the website's up. That is in the past. We're just recapping what happened here in March. Then we're going to look ahead into April, my new favorite month, April. The start of baseball, spring. Actually, technically, spring begins, I think, this week when I'm recording this episode. But the um, springtime usually mentally and, and all that crazy stuff comes into place for a lot of people in April. New month, new spring, new year. I mean, not new year. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I got to drink some tea. Then, of course, starting in April is the on-air of Carson Kelly. I shared a blog earlier this month on March the 7th about that. And all that cool stuff. That podcast is pretty much me talking about everything happening in the world. From technology to movies, film and television, series, music, everything. The first episode, I can't wait for you guys to listen to. It's nothing like this podcast where it's all about Carson Kelly games. And what I'm doing and visioning for the future of my little indie game studio of one which is me. I'm doing a lot, and I am very, very happy with what is in the slate of releases to come. That is very exciting. Huh? There's a lot of traffic outside. There's a lot of people walking by this morning. That's pretty cool. It's also very rainy today, but let's continue with the recap. On March 10th, 2023, we announced the CK Carson Kelly Games Discord server that will be launching in spring 2024. I am very, very happy about that, but it is going to be a very tight lock server to where um, it's going to be very tight. Uh, media, media of the members of the press, um, other close people that I talk to who are very interested in CKG and stuff and want to learn more about the projects and the upcoming exciting slate, they can join. It'll be very tight. A lot of the stuff is locked. will be locked to members of the press. And non-members of the press. But yeah, that is very exciting stuff. The Discord server is coming along well. It's, I had it up running for a little over two, three years now in the background. But I'm very excited to happily launch that into the community. To bring fans of Talking Dogs and all the other amazing things together in one community. They can share their thoughts, theories, excitement. Um, feedback for future patch patch updates for when we get to that point, which is exciting. Well, that's going to be very cool. That's a new step. Then, on March 12th, I shared a global update on what's happening at Carson Kelly Publishing, the publishing arm for Carson Kelly Games. You know, and there is over 30 projects in development at Carson Kelly Publishing, the official publishing arm of Carson Kelly Games, from Talking Dogs, Starfall, to Dreamscape, and a lot more. And I just can't wait for people to learn all about Starfall, Dreamscape, and the Talking Dogs books, because it is a very, very exciting slate. Because I know in December we got the three Talking Dogs books, Talking Dogs Phil's Big Adventure to kick it off, then followed by Talking Dogs Glenn's Journey, very, very awesome book. I probably rewrote it about five times, but I, I love it. It's awesome, and I can't wait for people to pick it up either physically or digitally via an ebook. That's also exciting. Then the final Talking Dogs books of the year is Calvin's Wish, which I talked about broadly, but there'll be more to talk about when we get closer, when, when the marketing campaign begins to kick off, which is exciting. Can't wait for you guys to... Read all about the Talking Dogs books. That's going to be very exciting for our family-friendly audience. And, of course, with the Starfall universe, it is very, very... I do not want to talk about much Starfall right now. Because we're getting to a point where some stuff is going to be shared very, very, very soon. And that is exciting. So, 
We're now 10 minutes into the podcast. I hope you guys are enjoying it, because I am. And now I would like to follow it up with something else. On March 17th of this month, you know, March 17th, 2023, we shared, I announced the CKG Press Portal, which is the Carson Kelly Games Press Portal. It's going to launch in fall in t- March 2024, where you can register to be a member of the Carson Kelly Games list of press members. And you can join, look up um, press material and press assets to talk about in your own shows and stuff. For example, future marketing campaigns and trailers and blog assets will all be there for you to share and talk about. Like, for example, a new Talking Dogs trailer releases in March of that year. (laughs) You could um, download the highest version. Upload it on your own if you'd like to your channel and talk about it. Your thoughts on the trailer and stuff. And yeah, you can be a member of the press. See early trailers, early screenings of uh, Talking Dogs related projects. Like early glimpse at trailers, um, footage from the game, gameplay looks, deep dives. And that's all going to be awesome stuff. And I can't wait for people to... Join the press program, the press portal. Then on March 21st, very, very recently when I'm recording this, my publishing arm, Carson Kelly Publishing, agreed to terms with draft to digital for a global distribution agreement and partnership, which is exciting. Very happy to work with them on some over 30 to 50 books, 30 30 to 50 projects, which is exciting stuff for years to come. That is very, very exciting stuff. I can't wait to talk to you all about what is happening at Carson Kelly Publishing. Carson Kelly Games Publishing, which is exciting stuff. And yeah, it is an exciting time ahead. We're almost to the end of the podcast here, but I would like to conclude it with some very, very recent news that was shared. And that is Talking Dogs is coming to the Epic Games Store in 2024. If you haven't heard already, Talking Dogs was delayed in December of 2022. I wanted to add more time to the game and stuff and lock deals with other partners to where I can have my game, Talking Dogs, on their platform. Since, for example, earlier this year in January, uh, Google shut down Stadia. And that was that was brutal. That was a brutal slap in the face. That was a That was a big slap in the face from Google. I woke up uh, and I found out it was shut down. Uh, it was getting shut down a few months back, probably. And I, I forget when I think it was in September it was announced it was shutting down, and that was just painful because I was really excited to release my game on Stadia. But hey, that's in the past. We're done. Our partnership is in the can. At once that was once Stadia shut down, so I, that that sucks. But the people there were they were great. It's just the upper main the upper upper heads of Google who made that decision. Terrible decision. Terrible mistake to shut down Stadia. The tech behind Google Stadia is amazing. All right. I'm not going to talk anymore about Google Stadia. It's in the past now. It sucks what happened, but we got to move forward because the future is bright. And yeah, talking back to back to topic here. Talking Dogs will be coming to the Epic Game Store in 2024. And I can't wait for more family-friendly audiences Kids of all ages to pick up their controller or a keyboard and mouse and play as Phil the Husky in his awesome adventure to find his best friend, Glenn. And I I can't wait for people to play it. Um, I think I just slipped up something. I don't know. I probably did. I don't know. But yeah, Talking Dog has come to the Epic Game Store in 2024. That was, we, I, I, we shared that little, blah. We shared that blog very recently, a few days ago. That went live on March 22nd, 2023, which is great, 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 great news. I can't, and this news was released ahead of Epic Games' um, State of Unreal, which is an exciting event. I attended virtually and watched all of it. Very exciting stuff, what they're doing at Epic Games. One of my longtime partners in my time here in the game industry. Probably going around. F- Six years I've been working closely with Epic Games on my games and stuff. They're they're a great company. I started working with Unreal Engine probably as a partner in the early days of Unreal Engine 4. 
for some old games of mine that I had that I wanted to bring to life, but they were they were just never those those projects just never saw the light of day. Maybe they will someday in another form of media. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop talking. <laughs> That's a little hint for the future. But yeah, Unreal Engine, great, great engine. Epic Games also shared some amazing news on Unreal Engine 5.2, which I am excited to get hands on with. And of course, port Talking Dogs over to the final version of Unreal Engine 5.2, which is great. They also announced so many other things, but we won't talk about that today. But before I go, I would like to say that I hope you enjoyed today's podcast as we looked back on the mar- on the month of March and we look ahead to what's an exciting month of April, which has always been an exciting month. It's always been happiness, joy, and all that stuff for me personally. Because something always happens. There's a lot of cool entertainment things next month, but we'll talk about all that on the first episode of On Air with Carson Kelly when it streams live on air on April the 7th. So don't miss that. If you want want to hear me talk about everything happening in film and television, music, uh, video games, and everything, except politics. We don't talk about that over there. Which, for obvious reasons, politics, they never go anywhere. They don't do anything. So, yeah. This month's, ep- this month's episode of Cars Kelly Games Podcast is about to wrap up, but I would like to say a few things. On Friday, June 2nd, 2023, Website 3.0 will launch in full. Website 4.0 is in the works and will launch later this year. Um, Then an undisclosed, untitled website update will follow 4.0 in 2024, very early 2024, which is awesome. I also have a lot of stuff to share with you guys in the weeks and months ahead on a range of topics that are long time coming. But yeah, I'm very, very happy um, with everything that is happening at Carson Kelly Games and my subsidiaries that I run, such as Carson Kelly Productions, Pictures, and Publishing. Oh, and if you are wondering, when will Carson Kelly Productions website launch? I don't know if you listened to last month's episode or not, or the blog post, but that website has been merged into Carson Kelly Games, and that will be launching in full alongside a slate of amazing content for you to watch and learn all about very soon. I will share more on that in a detailed blog when it launches because it will be a big blog and stuff. Can't wait for you guys to learn all about that. But yeah, folks, my name is Carson Kelly, the creator of Talking Dogs and a lot of other things. And the solo lead developer here at Carson Kelly Games, chief executive officer, uh, business analyst, you know, a whole bunch of titles at Carson Kelly Games. Because just a one-man team would have vision to reach for the stars. And as we close out today's episode, I also would like to say thank you for all the support and messages you guys have sent on the, C- the Carson Kelly Games chatbot Lenny. But I would also like to say, before we do go, if you don't have nothing nice, if you don't have nothing nice to say, please do not send it in the chat bot. Because I have the chat bot up and available for fans of my games or upcoming games and fans of other work. Just say hi and hello to the chat bot and stuff like that. But when when I see um messages that ex- that's that express hatred or bad stuff, I do not appreciate it. I don't. Especially bad messages. It's like, it's it's crazy. People always hate nowadays. And that's something we all gotta learn. People are always hating. But hey, it's it, the people always say, if someone's hating on you for something, or saying blah, 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 you must be doing something right, I guess. I don't know, but I'm not going to end the podcast here and end it on a bad note, but per my platform here I use to record podcasts, we're running out of time. Wait, no, I read that wrong. We got a lot of time left. Okay. So we'll probably go for another minute or two with the intro and outro attached somewhere. But yeah, guys, um, March has been good. The first three months of 2023, we've been really good. A lot, a lot of work is happening on Talking Dogs. I know I haven't shared much on it this year. 
as in 2023, like I did in 2022. That's because I'm heads down on the project alongside 30 to 50 plus projects and elsewhere that I'm very excited to share and talk about soon. I know I say that a lot, but trust me, I am cooking a lot of amazing things from books to undisclosed partnerships with amazing people from around the world in the world of technology and amazing stuff is happening but it takes time and yeah i'm very very happy with what is coming up so yeah future is bright my friends reach for the stars and hey if you got a dream you gotta protect that shit seriously you really do you gotta protect that shit with your life you got to protect your dreams, reach for the stars. I'm going to stop acting like a motivational speaker here. I, I am not. I'm just saying my company slogan, reach for the stars, and it just usually fits with everything. It's pretty cool. But yeah, stay tuned. A lot of new information is coming in April. A lot of exciting stuff from a new episode, possibly of Bonfire Time with Phil. Those take a lot of time to produce. I have to, I have to do a lot of extra stuff, but I'm happy with it. The feedback I got privately about Bonfire Time with Phil has been excellent, and I like to hear that. But don't worry, a lot more episodes are planned in that series and other short series as well. But hey guys, my name is Carson. I gotta go do some stuff real quick, get back to work on some stuff. And yeah, my name is Carson. Have a wonderful day. Reach for the stars, and I will see you next month on Carson Kelly Games Episode Podcast 4 which will be the fourth episode of the Carson Kelly Games podcast, so I'll see you then. Goodbye for now, friends. Peace.